Hello and welcome back to the FA-18 Hornet Flight School uh, campaign that I'm putting together. This will be available once I'm completely finished putting the entire program together and I'm kind of hoping to figure out how to get it put onto the uh, DCS web store and Steam and all of that stuff because it's a lot of work and I'm not just going to give it away for free, I'm sorry. So. That said, let's go ahead and talk about this mission. It is Rockets and Guns, and it's basically a repeat of the mission that I just went over, except this time you go over here and you uh, you take out some trucks with Rockets and Guns. Um, the only difference is that there are a couple of different SAM sites that you have to take out. I believe for this mission, there's one SAM site that you're supposed to take out using the pre-brief mode. So you set the waypoint two as your target point, send the harm in, and it finds the target over here. And then this dude over here is inactive. He only pops up once you damage one of the trucks. So you dive in, you do your rocket stuff, you hit a couple of the trucks probably on your first pass. There's four of them over here. Uh, and then as you hit them, it turns this SAM site on so that you have to practice your self-protection mode. So, you know, we're, we're continuing to practice using the harms and getting better at remembering how to use those systems, as well as countermeasures, because if you're not fast enough and this thing gets a missile off, well, you need to, well, you're instructed to, to defend in the first place. So you're supposed to dive to the deck, set, send your chaff out and make sure that you're you're defending the missile just in case. But either way, teaching several, con we're, we're trying to, we're trying to implement several concepts that we've already learned in a controlled environment so that it becomes muscle memory to just do it that way. So that once you're in a real combat environment, you know, real as in DCS real, you already know what to do when something happens and you're not freaking out. So this mission is mostly the same as the one I showed you in the last video, except it just it just switches some concepts around to make it a little bit more, more real world. So you have some more real defenses that are kind of popping up and um, becoming things you have to think about. Uh, so just real quick, I just want to say that uh, the program itself is broken up into four blocks. There's a navigation block, which is completely done. I've QC'd it. It's, I think it's pretty much ready for, it's ready to be published, but I'm waiting until everything is done. Uh, where you learn a bunch of different concepts like navigate, like how to get to from play, point A to point B, use radio aids and things like that. I'm currently working on this, which is the air to ground portion. I think I'm nearly towards the end of it. I have a few more videos to do. Uh, then there will be an air to air block where you learn about how to use the radar, the AMRAMs and the heats and the uh, AIM-9X and all of that stuff and learn tactics on how to do BVR, how to do... I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do dog fighting because that's going to be very hard to... It's gonna be very hard to script. I'd have to figure out how to make that work. Um, but at the very least, we should be able to figure out some basic BVR, IFFing things, all of that kind of stuff. And then it's gonna end with a nice little carrier operations block, which will encompass, you know, landing at the carrier, taking off from the carrier, um, you know, conducting operations from the carrier, coming back and, you know, just doing all kinds of different stuff. Uh, and I've tried to make it, I put it on the uh, Caucasus map and I'm using the regular super, the regular carrier so that you don't need any additional downloads other than just the Hornet. So that's the thought process. Uh, again, this mission is exceedingly simple. There isn't really much to it other than, you know, kind of advancing concepts that we've already learned. We've already learned how to do seed. We've already learned how to do CCIP bombing. Um, we've already learned how to navigate to waypoints and things like that. We've already learned how to use the FLIR to look at the targets so we can find them, uh, you know, and keep track of them. So it's just, I'm just, I'm kind of trying to build skills as we go and throw new situations using those same skills that you've already learned. And that's kind of what this mission is. It's, hey, we already learned how to uh, pre-brief take out one of these. Now let's practice, we, and we've already learned, we've, we've already practiced that a lot, but that's also practice you know, using self-protection mode for the thing. So this this lesson combines learning rockets and guns with, hey, you're going to practice some CCIP. I'm sorry, not CCIP. You're going to practice learn using some self-protection SP mode for the harm. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, that's the general idea for all of that. Uh, then you fly back to waypoint three once you finish taking out the trucks and you execute a return to the carrier. As I said in my last video, the outer ring here is 50 miles. It, it's going to continually remind you about, hey, you need to report inbound at 50 miles. You need to report CU at 10 at 10 miles so that when we go out here to do the uh, actual carrier part and you don't have you don't have the instructor telling you, it's just it's automatic. You know, oh, I'm going back to the carrier. I need to start thinking about that. I need to set my TAC in. I need to set all this stuff up. I need to set my BRC and blah, 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 all that. So 
I'm trying to incorporate carry, basic carrier operations throughout the entire course so that by the time we actually get out to the carrier, it's not it's it's already something you know how to do and it's not new. It's just, oh, I've done this before a million times at the airfield. I just have to now I just have to use a different code for my TACAN. That's it. So that's this lesson. Again, it's another very simple one, but that is what it is. So if you uh, if you can see where I'm going with all of this and you think it's going to be a good thing, be sure to click that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel so that you know when more of these videos come out, because I am putting making a video for each of my missions to kind of go over what the idea of the campaign is. Some of them are actually in the cockpit because you kind of need to see uh, and other ones are like this where it's it's so simple. I don't want to waste the time flying and actually going to do it. it it's, it's simple enough that I can just kind of explain it from the map here. So uh, that's all I had to say for this one. Hopefully you got something out of it and I will see you for the next one.